Hey there, how's it going? I'm Andy Bennett, and this is my twin brother, Alex Bennett. Hey guys, and welcome to the Housing Self-Service Portal. Now, you can access your Housing Self-Service Portal by logging into your Web Connect and then clicking on the Housing Meals Vehicle folder on the left side. Then you'll select the Housing Self-Service Portal link. Yep, and once you do that, it's going to take you to this lovely site. And here is where everything gets done. You see today we are Mac the Bulldog. That's who we're going to be doing it under. And for all housing applications, all you need to do is go to the Applications tab. When you click on that, you see that two options come up. It's for This one is for returning student housing. If you're a new student, it will be for new student housing. And I clicked right there, but uh, as you can see, whenever you click on it, it gives you the option to either do a business office pay or to do an online pay. So Alex, can you tell them what that means? So if you select an online pay, you'll be required to submit your housing deposit as part of the application process. Now, new students would be a deposit of $300 and returning students would be a deposit of $150. Now, if you don't want to submit a deposit as part of your application, then you would select the business office pay application. Now, the business office pay application for students who have or intend to submit their housing deposit directly to the student accounts office. New students who have submitted their deposit to the undergraduate admissions office should also submit a business office pay uh, application. All right, so we're gonna do the business office pay application today. As you can see, it's gonna take you to the next page and right here it says returning student housing application. The only difference if you're a new student is gonna be the title, but you're gonna get the same page. And then you can see the page that pops up is all the list of terms and agreements for the housing application. And we know you'll read every single part of that. Then once you've accepted that, you'll scroll to the bottom and you can either use your mouse or if you have a touch screen or a mobile device, you can use your finger and I'll just write right there. And then you can click the continue button. All right, on this next page, you can see the title personal information. You're gonna give us your personal information. So what you gotta do is fill out these little sections and the ones with the red asterisks are mandatory. You have to do those ones. All the other ones are just uh, optional. So you're gonna fill that out and then you're gonna hit continue. And then the next page that will pop up is the guardian and emergency contact information. So uh, Mac the Bulldog's emergency contacts, pop a bulldog right there and then make sure after you fill out everything, you're gonna click save this contact and make sure you do that with both of them. So Mama Bulldog, we're gonna save that contact also. And then once you've saved both the emergency contacts, you click the continue button. Okay, so now you see we're on the existed, existing living uh, request form. So right here is where you get to choose where you would like to live on campus. So you have the option of choosing up to three options. If you don't get the first one, it's going to go to the second. Don't get the second, you go to the third. So for we'll just do the first option today for Mac. So you go to housing preferences, and Mac is going to be a male. So we're going to say his first option is to live in Royster Hall. So once we do that, we're going to add the request. And you see right there, there it is, his first request, his uh, number one preference for living. So you can have up to three. Uh, this is a very important phase. If you miss maybe a step in the housing application as a returning student, this is going to help. And for new students, this is what's going to make you eligible to sign up for housing. So we're going to now continue to the next page. So the next page is going to pop up is the dining plan selection. And so you see you have a three choices here, the value plan, choice plan, or flex plan. Uh, Mac the Bulldog is going to want to eat at the CAF, get unlimited food every week. So he's going to go with the value plan. And then after you've submitted your plan, click the submit button. And there it is. All right, so now you see this, your application's complete. Here's a notification. So make sure you go over everything, make sure that everything's right because there's some very important information on here for you. And remember that we showed you a business office pay application. The online pay application, only one additional screen would have been added where you would enter your debit or credit card information to submit your deposit. Okay, and remember that this is very important for returning and new students. Returning students, this is gonna get you set up for the next year. And new students, this is gonna make you eligible to live on campus your first year. It's gonna get you set up and it's something you need to do. And lastly, please contact Housing and Resident Education Office at 704-406-4300 if you have any questions about how to complete this housing application.
And so that's, that's all we have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And thank you. We'll see you next time.